Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Friday. Let's give a big yes for GameStop. Uh, yes! <laughs> I guess. I expelled it all at the same time. Yes! yes They're gonna love that one in the comments. Oh yeah, I predict oh, yeah. nothing but good reviews. They are the retail equivalent of a vacant house on the edge of town that you and your friends are scared to walk past, but sometimes you do throw rocks at the windows. Yes, and it's, that's It's right. pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, but maybe you grow up and you buy that house with your sweetie. I was gonna move there and start a fight club. For middle-aged dads, all rounds last five seconds. And you do talk about it. Yeah. yeah. And there's an EMT on the premises at all times. Don't talk to Meatloaf. He's he's first, here just as a normal guy. He doesn't want to be bothered. First rule of Brian's Fight Club, close the door. You're letting the AC out. <laughs> yes. But yeah, things have not been going great for GameStop for years. Now, y'all know this. You're smart. But mm -hmm. is their luck about to turn around? Because it sounds like they recently got a lifeline from a very unexpected source. What, did Reggie fils cut them alone? Still got some of that Nintendo scratch. You know. He does. Oh, yeah. Some of that yeah. labo a, money. The fils offspring are not going to have to work. No, be for fun. a thousand generations, he's secured <laughs> there. Yeah, so that, that chain has struck an unprecedented deal with Microsoft that is going to give it some much needed cash. And it could have big implications for the way games are sold, at least games for the Xbox. Yeah, so here's the backstory and what happened. Uh, last week, it was reported GameStop put out this release saying they had entered into a multi year strategic partnership with Microsoft. Uh, that included using Microsoft's cloud infrastructure for GameStop sales systems. Also, store associates would be using Microsoft Surface tablets in stores. Kind of like when you watch football players cool. and they all have like Surface tablets. And you're like, y'all are getting paid to do that. No, no one in the real world would do that. Bill Belichick's just like, ah! <clears throat> That's all pretty standard stuff. But as Ars Technica pointed out, there was an interesting sentence buried in that release. It said that GameStop and Microsoft will both benefit from the customer acquisition and lifetime revenue value of each gamer brought into the Xbox ecosystem. And for those of us who don't speak corporate, what does that mean in English? So here's what this means in English. Uh, some investors did some digging and it turns out GameStop struck a deal with Microsoft to get a cut of all digital revenue from any Xbox they sell. Domo Capital Management President Justin Dopey Arala told <laughs> Ars Technica that he was sold by GameStop that they will receive a portion of the downstream revenue from any device we will bring into the Xbox ecosystem. That apparently applies to all digital sales on all next-gen Xbox consoles sold through GameStop. Analyst Anthony Chukumba said he was told the same thing from GameStop. He described it as this way to Ars Technica. The way it's going to work is for every Microsoft Xbox console that GameStop sells going forward, GameStop will get some percentage of the revenue from every digital full game download, DLC, microtransaction, and any subscription as well. Damn. But yeah, it's pretty unprecedented, that deal, because historically, retailers will, you know, sell consoles and games, but just the physical copies. They obviously don't see any money from digital, at least before this. That all goes to the console maker and the developers. And GameStop's real money maker over the years has been selling used games, but with the rise of digital sales over the last several years, that's obviously dried up. So they're looking looking for Big another time. revenue source. Uh, yeah. So how much exactly is GameStop getting? How big of a cut are they getting from all these digital sales? Well, it's not clear yet. Dopey Arala thinks it could range from one to 10%, but over time, that could definitely add up. Chukumba, on the other hand, thinks the cut is much lower as in less than 1%. Yeah, probably like Spotify numbers. You're like .001. Yeah. He added that he didn't think it's large enough to make a significant impact on GameStop's financial results. And they also pointed to the fact that everybody's keeping kind of vague about the size of the cut could mean that it's just not that big. GameStop, <clears throat> for its part, has not spoken publicly about the revenue sharing agreement aside from that press release last week. Chukumba believes that it could just be a small bit of revenue to get GameStop to use Microsoft's tablets in store and its cloud products. He pointed out that if it's a bigger cut, what is in it for Microsoft? Which is a very fair question to ask. This is business. Here's my speculation. If GameStop is getting any percentage of sales, no matter how right to the decimal it is, it would still be a pretty big incentive for them to try and sell Xboxes over PlayStations. You would think GameStop, they're not as big as they used to be, but it still operates thousands and thousands of stores, mostly in the US and Canada. So it's still got a big footprint. And it's probably still where a lot of like 
parents are going to buy consoles for their kids and stuff. I don't know. What should I get for my grandson? Which console would QAnon approve of? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was touched the least by pedophile globalists? <laughs> the Xbox Series X. <laughs> there you go, ma'am. God, we're getting into like, especially with Microsoft, just straight up monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> just like throwing just some money own, around. They own yeah. their own storefront. They own the major physical storefront. They own every studio that makes games for their console. They're really starting to flex on people, yeah. So this also might be a way for console makers to encourage retailers to sell their digital only consoles because otherwise GameStop would not make any money after they sell the initial console. The customer would just go home and make all their purchases online rather than ever coming back to the store. The dream, honestly. And that's what we've been wondering, yeah, why would they even want to sell these digital consoles? Because, right. yeah, you, that's the last time you're going to go into the GameStop until the next generation comes out. But they figured it out. A big part of GameStop's model these days is to sell other products like toys and collectibles, but people won't buy those if they're not physically in the store to begin with. I would wager they also won't buy them if they're in their store because they're probably just lost. And it's junk that nobody right. wants or needs. <laughs> but I think that's the thing where your kid, it's a, the kid's eye level and they're-, they're Yeah, your kid's as no, tall as sure. a Funko Pop. I've been there. Yeah, it sucks. Not telling them no, that part's fun. And GameStop has been looking forward to the start of a new console generation for the specific reason that lots of people still prefer to physically buy their consoles in a store. Okay, but can we expect Sony to follow suit and offer its own deal to GameStop? Dopiarella says he is confident that yes, Sony will strike a similar deal to share revenue. So, But as of now, it's still pretty vague. We'll probably learn more in the future about just exactly how much revenue they're getting. GameStop and Microsoft are both publicly traded companies, so you'd assume that we'd learn more in future earnings reports. And you can bet investors will be asking for specifics about the deal in the next earnings call. Can't wait for that next earnings call. Oh, but have you ever listened to one of those? They grill the f out of those companies. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's man. awesome. Meanwhile, GameStop is experiencing a bit of a rebound when it comes to its stock price, which is kind of amazing, considering that we are still in the middle of a pandemic, which has affected retail sales a lot. I wonder if that has anything to do with console pre-orders. They haven't let the pandemic stop them. They're like, no, we will stay all. open until the cops come to the door. That is American perseverance. Yeah. They're failing, but somehow the uh, the game store down the street from me that just had piled to the ceiling, bins full of Atari joysticks. Oh, I love like, those. Oh, yeah. It's yes. the best. It is those, it's the those best. dirty used game stores. But yeah. like, how is that open? It's honestly great to go in there. It's right. the best. But like, they seem to be doing okay. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, GameStop stock price hit a low in April, at least a yearly low of two dollars and eighty cents a share yesterday. I looked, it was over 13 bucks a share, like 13.83. Damn. Uh, so that's a pretty big increase. Now, if you go back to its glory days, it hit over 61 bucks a share in 2007, but those days are long gone. And I feel like oh, when you're yeah. GameStop, you, you can take all any good news you can get at this point. Yeah, GameStop has had five straight years of declining sales, but apparently some investors think it can still grow again. They are the world's greatest optimists, I guess. Yes, or they know something we don't. They're gonna start selling pot in the store. Or something. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how this deal with Microsoft affects the way that GameStop markets the new Xboxes. Will they get more prominent displays in stores? Yes, almost yes. certainly. Will associates be instructed <laughs> to push the Series X over the PS5? Again, yes. almost certainly. But, right. you know, time will tell. We don't know for sure, but yes. But, but yes. <laughs> It'll be like, is there no other console I can get? Come here. Come here. Meet me, meet me out back in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is just like a pallet of PS5s. I'm like, I gotta unload these now. Remember GameStop? Hmm, only 90s kids. The newspaper kind of. industry of video games. Doesn't make sense. Really wish we had Brian on <laughs> right now. All. To explain the joke he wrote. It just in that they are both not they're, doing hot. They're dying. So but today's anyway. episode will be drawing parallels between William Randolph Hearst and Reggie mm -hmm. Fizeme. Regardless, you probably know that GameStop as a company is not